Pepper One Fuchs has developed a powerful add-on instruction that can be used on the G20 MDR modules. Note, this instruction provides an easy way to control ramp and speed of the G20 motorized drive roller module when your machine is running. Furthermore, it enables the ability to view comprehensive diagnostics on your AS interface networks. The following RS Logix 5000 project has already been set up. The key focus is for us to understand the parameters of our add-on instruction. The add-on instruction consists of three triggers. The first being the trigger to set the ramp on your motorized drive roller module. The second being the trigger to set the speed. And the third being the trigger to review your AS interface diagnostics. Currently, we have to make sure in the add-on instruction which motorized drive roller module we want to affect. In this case, we're using our 5A node address. The B indicates if you have a B address or an A address. In our case, we are using an A address. The network signifies if we are on network 1 or 2. The speed and the ramp parameters associate to the parameter bits. These bits have values from 0 to 7. In our case, our speed currently is set at 7.26 volts. So let's get our motorized drive roller running. The first thing we must do is go to our controller tags. In our controller tags, we need to set the bits, the output bits corresponding to our node 5. In this location, we can see that node 5 bits are represented by bits 0 and 1. So as I trigger the bits here as 1, I start my motor running. And the motor is running at now the, feet, the speed of 7, corresponding to 7.26 volts. The instruction is very powerful because now if I change that value to a lower value of 3.96 volts, indicating all zeros, and trigger my speed, immediately my motorized drive roller begins to run at that speed corresponding to 3.96 volts. Again, while the machine is running, all this is possible. So next, let's look at the next trigger parameter called the ramp. The ramp parameter has a separate corresponding value to it. And what we could do here is by setting the ramp, by setting again the parameter bits associated to it. Currently, this parameter is set to 1. I'm going to change the parameter to 7. And we want to make sure our triggers are not happening together, be it the ramp and the speed. Now I'm going to trigger a ramp. Some delay is experienced, and then we get the results of our ramp at the corresponding value it was set for. Finally, we look at diagnostics. And AS interface diagnostics are very helpful for troubleshooting. So if we want to see some of the information available on the PLC level, we could click on the ability through the add-on instruction to trigger diagnostics. By triggering diagnostics, the parameter we set was DIG1. And looking at the, our controller tags, we observe a set of diagnostics First, the list of activated slaves, corresponding with the only node address being node 5 on our network. The list of detected slaves, list of projected slaves, and so forth. But furthermore, it has a number of other diagnostics noted. Peripherals being okay in our case, auto addressing possible, etc. Thanks for joining the video series on the G20 motor control module. If you have any questions, please feel free to either comment on the video or contact us. Also, don't forget to like and share our video, and also keep updated on Pepper and Foods products by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you and have a great day.